the average email opt-in rate is 1.95%. Anything above that and you're doing better than half the world. Nice work. This statistic is based on over 3.2 billion people who have seen sumo.com email capture pop-ups. So it's pretty accurate. And statistics say you or the person next to you have seen our tools in action. But what can you do with this data? Well, if you're happy with being average, that means almost two out of every 100 people that visit your site join your email list. If you get 100 visitors or less per month to your site, that number might seem distressingly low, in which case you should find new ways to bring traffic to your site. Want to be more than average? How about elite? Turns out all you need to do is increase your conversion rate by less than 3%. The top 10% of marketers average a 4.77% opt-in rate. Isn't it funny how going from 2 out of every 100 opting in to 5 out of 100 turns you into an elite list building machine? That's all it takes. But there's something you should know about these numbers. They aren't entirely accurate. Wait, what? Why would I give you numbers that aren't entirely accurate? Am I some sort of spy sent to spread lies and demolish your conversion rates? Not at all. In fact, you could take the numbers I just gave you, go to your next meeting, and probably get a promotion for being a certified genius. But there's another level to these numbers you need to know, because those numbers are the average of the average of our four email list building tools. See, we have four different tools that capture emails in subtle, yet completely different ways. Those tools are Welcome Mat, List Builder, Scrollbox, and Smartbar. Welcome Mat acts like a landing page. It instantly appears before a visitor sees a page on your site. This is our secret weapon on the Sumo blog. List Builder is the Swiss army knife of list building tools. It can show a pop-up three different ways. On a click, after a period of time, or before someone leaves, giving you tremendous control over building your list. Scrollbox is a pop-up that appears after a visitor reads a certain page percentage on your page so you can target your most engaged visitors. Smartbar places an opt-in bar at the very top or bottom of your site. It blends into your site and is a great low-key option for collecting emails. These four tools represent almost every way to capture emails on your website. And this is what the average email opt-in rate looks like across these tools. 2.9% for List Builder, 2.6% for Welcome Map, 1.9% for Scrollbox, and 0.5% for SmartBar. Keep in mind, this is the average for these tools. This includes numbers from websites that kept the generic templates and didn't bother customizing, to websites that convert like crazy. We've seen websites that convert at 20 to 50% plus and sites that just don't convert. So I'm breaking it down by each of the list building tools to give you some helpful suggestions on how you can make the apps work harder for you whether you're below the average and want to reach it, or already above average and want to really go crazy. Starting, of course, with my personal favorite, List Builder. It's no secret, List Builder is a beast. Of all the tools, it has the highest average conversion rate, sitting at 2.9%. The top 10% of sites get a 6.5% conversion rate, whereas the bottom 25% are struggling with a 0.82% conversion rate. Fear not. The potential is there because List Builder has helped Sumo users double and triple their conversions, rapidly grow their email lists, and even earn a ton of money. It even made Brian an extra $82,125 per year. This is the part where you go pause the video, go to sumo.com, and install the free account on your site. Do that now, and I'll be here waiting for you when you get back. Now you've got a free sumo.com account installed on your site. I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions to start boosting email list conversion rates on your site. By the end of this video, you'll be rolling in email subscribers like Scrooge McDuck. First, we're going to create a click trigger. Have you ever heard of the foot in the door technique? In case this concept is new to you, a study was done way back in the golden days of the Beatles and Go-Go Boots by two dudes from Stanford, Friedman and Fraser. They prove that it's easy to get somebody to say yes to a larger request if they already complied with a smaller request. I'm not just telling you this because it's story time. This actually has powerful marketing implications. 
If you can get a visitor to say yes to clicking your link, they are far more likely to say yes to giving up the goods, in this case, their email address. Get your mind out of the gutter. That's why two-stepped opt-ins work so well. And since we're the bomb.com, seriously, we've made it so you can set up a two-stepped opt-in in about three seconds flat with click triggers. If you were one of the three people who didn't scramble to install sumo.com when I told you to, you will be now. Pull up Sumo, go to the email menu item, click on create new form, and set up a click trigger pop-up. You can use click triggers for a content upgrade or to replace your traditional boring opt-in boxes. Now let's talk about our next list building tactic for getting above average email sign-up conversion rates. Sometimes asking for an email address before your visitor has even engaged with your website is like trying to cut straight to the chase before even going on a date. Depending on what you're offering, you may want to wait before asking for the email. If your pop-up's time to show after just a few seconds, Consider either, either giving the visitor more time to engage with your content or setting the visibility mode inside sumo.com to smart and letting sumo take care of it. Since you have great content, right? This builds a relationship with your visitor before they're asked to subscribe, making them more likely to do so. Another list building tactic you can use is to make it super simple to opt in. Your visitors have ridiculously short attention spans. It's not just them you do too. That means if you make them jump through too many hoops, or any hoops for that matter, to subscribe, they probably won't. Sometimes a hoop is the simple act of typing in their name. Even though it's just a small extra step, it's still an extra step. So consider just asking for your visitor's email address in your email collection form, removing the name field completely. Having your subscriber's name may seem important, but is it important at the expense of their email address? Since the pop-up is so effective, you can make it more effective by making it a no-brainer to opt in. Now let's talk about Welcome Mat. Ah, Welcome Mat. The secret weapon of sumo.com and soon your website. The stats for Welcome Mat rival list builder. The top 10% of websites see a nice conversion rate of 6.3% and the bottom 25% scraping by with a measly 0.4%. Is that last number hitting too close to home? Let's take you from below average to a conversion ninja with a few tweaks. The first tweak is to watch your call to action. You know what's not compelling? The words sign up for our newsletter. I don't know about you, but the welcome mat, that welcome mat does not whine and dine me. How do I know I want your newsletter? What's in it for me? Yeah, I'm selfish. On the other hand, a call to action that's clear, benefits driven, and actually tells me what I'm going to get out of the deal, now that I'm into. Like this excellent call to action on the Bread and Company website for 10% off my first purchase. What if you can't offer a discount? That's cool. Check out this sexy welcome mat call to action for a free case study. Instead of just typing any old phrase into the headline of your welcome mat, Make the call to action compelling and benefits driven. Always ask yourself what the visitor will get from taking the action you want them to take. Then communicate the shit out of that benefit. Once you've made sure your call to action is strong, make your welcome mat into a landing page. Welcome mat works so well because it isolates the call to action. There are no extraneous distractions surrounding it, which leads to higher conversions. But what if you could triple your conversions from your welcome mat? We've seen conversions increase from 20% to 50% more just by taking one small action, turning your welcome mat into a landing page. Typically your welcome mat rolls out depending on your display rules when a visitor lands on a certain page on your website. The visitor can then choose to scroll down, press the downward arrow button or press the no thanks button to move on to your website. But if you remove a couple of these options by always showing your welcome mat and telling it to stop visitors from scrolling, you can increase conversions sometimes significantly. This creates a landing page out of your welcome mat, giving your visitors even fewer decisions and isolating your call to action even further. Another super effective option for boosting your welcome mat conversions is to create a page specific welcome mat. Instead of just displaying the same welcome mat on your home page, you can add display reels to show specific welcome mats 
depending on the page or post your visitor is on. This is perfect for offering content upgrades and can increase conversions significantly. This is what we did on our blog post about launching a Kickstarter campaign step by step. We offered a content upgrade to help users replicate the process and it boasts awesome conversion rates. If you can't see the numbers, over a few weeks, that page specific welcome mat converted between 6.45% at the low end to 23.08%, with most of the days falling somewhere around 14 to 16%. That's almost 10 times higher than the average of 2.6%. Watch it and weep. To do this, create your welcome mat using the welcome mat form type inside sumo.com. Then head to display rules and set it to only show on URL paths matching the domain of your content. For example, if your content was hosted at yourwebsite.com forward slash sparkly dash unicorn, you'd set it to only display on pages matching forward slash sparkly dash unicorn. You'll inevitably see an increase in opt-ins from doing this. Pause this video, go to your sumo.com account and do that now. I'll be waiting for you when you get back to tell you about Sumo scroll boxes. The average scroll box conversion rate is 1.9%, with the top 10% of scroll box users converting at 4.9%. But if you're seeing conversions of less than 0.01%, you're officially the weakest link. Nah, just kidding. If you're in the bottom 25%, don't worry. That's completely fixable. Just use a few hacks to quickly increase your scroll box conversion rate. The first hack is to decrease your trigger percent. With your scroll box, the trigger percent is simply how far the user gets down your page before the scroll box pops up. The default is 40%, so that means your readers have to go about 40% through an article or sales page before your scroll box appears. One conversion booster for your scroll box is to decrease the trigger percent to 10% so it appears sooner, before you've lost your visitor to the next shiny object. Because humans are so easily distracted, we tend to skip off to the next thing. Your visitor might read the beginning of your content, or get a quarter of the way down the page, and then click a link or move on to another page, never seeing your email opt-in at all. The next hack you can use is to adjust your scroll box size. You've heard that size matters, right? Well, that's not always true but it may be true with your scroll box. If you're getting less than stellar conversion rates, try adjusting the size to make it bigger. Scroll box is by nature far more polite than a traditional pop-up, so it can be easy to ignore or overlook. By adjusting its size, you can call more attention to it, increasing conversions. Check out this bigger, better scroll box. Of course, with both increasing your trigger percent and adjusting the size of your scroll box, the best way to find the perfect combination is to split test, which is totally free to do in sumo.com. Last, but certainly not least, is our list building tool called SmartBar. It's the most unintrusive of all the list building tools, which means the opt-in rates are going to be lower. The average opt-in percentage for the SmartBar is 0.5%, with the top 10% of sites seeing a 1.4% conversion rate. The bottom 25% of sites have a microscopic 0.01% opt-in rate. But that's the trade-off. You can either have a more aggressive pop-up and capture more emails, or you can be more passive and get less opt-ins. But if your smart bar is lacking email opt-ins, raise the bar. See what I did there? You can do it with a few little-known tweaks, like using an action color. One huge strength of the smart bar is that it's not intrusive. It hangs out at the top of your website, rather than catching your visitor's eye like a scroll box, list builder, or welcome mat. However, that can be a limitation too, especially if you just use the generic template. Instead of using the can template, set an action color that draws your visitor's eye up to the smart bar. Remember, you can't convert a visitor into an email subscriber if they don't notice the opt-in form. Choose an eye-catching, action color to make your smart bar stand out on the page. Another tweak you can make is to set your smart bar to move with the reader. Pause this video, go to sumo.com and open up your smart bar settings for a second. What do you see when you look at the visibility settings? 
If your smart bar is converting pathetically, or worse, not at all, and your display mode is set to static, try changing the setting to sticky. When your smart bar is set to static, it means that as soon as your reader scrolls down the page, they lose the smart bar. And let's be real, humans are not only lazy, but forgetful. 99.99% .99 of people won't scroll back up to find that smart bar and enter their email address. A sticky smart bar means that it will stay with the reader all the way down the page. This makes opting in easy. We like easy. The easier you make it to subscribe to your email list, the more likely people are to take action on it. How can you know what your audience responds to so you can convert more? A quick word on all this information. Every small change you make can have a big impact on your conversion rates. The higher your conversion rate, the more emails you collect. The more emails you collect, the more revenue you can earn in your business. I've given you strategies to increase your conversions and compete with the top 10% of sites on the internet, but every audience is different. And if you don't know what your specific audience responds to, you could be leaving hundreds or thousands of emails on the table, not to mention dollars. So don't just take my word for it. Split test everything. If we didn't A-B test different action colors and calls to action, how would we know which to use to maximize our reach, impact, and profit? With all of these suggestions, test them out and see what works with your audience. If you haven't already, install sumo.com and A-B test everything for free. Tests on tests on tests. Once you know what works, do more of it. Then sit back and watch the email opt-ins roll in.